Hello, teacher Jackie here. I want to talk about what to do right or what we're doing wrong in both parents and in feedback. This is my opinion. This is my two cents. So again, you can just turn this video off if you don't want to hear it. But otherwise, these are my yes and no's and uh, true and false and my um, my my little sticks that I love that work in my class. But again, as you as a fellow teacher or a teacher to be or a teacher that's coming back, I want to encourage you here, June 2023, what I have learned and what I experienced in um, the IPK classes with both feedback and parents. Just to give you a quick background, I am Jackie and I have been with the IP kids since September 20. 18 <laughs> and I was new to this industry every way shape or form I do have a bachelor's degree but it is not in education I was um I've taught in various settings to various kids various levels various subjects before VIP kid but I did not officially ever have certification or training TESOL until VIP kid I tell you I went to every workshop i dove into all the training and education that i possibly could to be the best independent contracted teacher i possibly could be and i feel like right now right now like in 2023 i finally feel like i'm getting it <laughs> since 2018 now i did have that year and four months off but i'm back and i hope you are back or going to start with us okay so look at my notes here um we'll just start with uh We'll start with parents. Let's just start with parents. So we have parents that love to be in the class with you. You see them to the side, you see them, or they're right there. They're right there in the video with the, with the child. And there's probably one or the other. It's probably no in between. Parents are really great and helpful, or they're just not. I don't really find too many parents who are in the middle who are not kind of a pain but helpful um I have some we'll just move forward here we go so the parents that are helpful let's kind of good news first so there's those parents who understand that you're the teacher you're paying they're paying you to teach the class and that they are there for just support they know their child doesn't sit still they know their child doesn't listen well they know their child doesn't understand when you say repeat where's my microphone where's my microphone I already packed it away somewhere. Anyway, so, um, wait, did I just hit it? I have a pink one. So when you're doing like Apple, then the parent in Chinese will say like repeat and the child will say Apple. So that does make sense. So the child starts to understand the body language when you do this, 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 all that kind of stuff. Those parents, we love, we love them, we love them. <laughs> They can stay. They can stay right there. Or when they start to feel comfortable, they kind of walk away. They take a phone call. They go get something to drink. Um, and that happens over time. So personally, that's been my experience. You'll have the very helpful parents that, again, sit there and help. Then, unfortunately, the more parents that we have are the not helpful parents. Excuse me. And those are the parents who, where do I start? They read the slides, they read the sentences, they repeat over you, they talk over you, they are basically doing the class the way they think they're supposed to do it, or they think they're helping you and they're not. This is a problem. <laughs> um, I have had to deal with it a lot over all these years, and I think, I think I'm getting better at how to handle it respectfully, culturally, and professionally, if that makes sense. So what do I do? So you're in class, you say, hi, I'm teacher Jackie, welcome to class, and the parents there and the parents telling the student to say, my name is Bob, or whatever. <laughs> And then you say, how are you? And I am happy. And then the parents like, you know, say, I'm happy. And the kid's like, I'm happy. And they're just like bored and out of the mind. So what I do is I tell the parent, hi, mom. Usually it's mom. A few times there's dads, actually. 
<laughs> and I'm like, hi, mom, so glad you're here because they are pretty fluent at this point. A, a few of them won't be. But at this point, I'm going to just guess that they're fully fluent. Hi, mom, so glad you're here. Your support is going to help them with their English. Thank you so much. And you just kind of do that. Get that kind of like, okay, we're on the same team. Get a feel for where they are because they may back off right away. And then if they don't, I'll tell you my next, like, talk about scaffolding. <laughs> you kind of have scaffolding with the parent. So you're on the next slide and it's like, what was mine today? Gorilla. So it's monkey, chimpanzee, gorilla, things like that. And so you're like, have you, have you, know, have you seen a gorilla before? And you just want a simple yes or no. Back to my green and red, yes or no. And they're yelling at them in Chinese or they're, you know, disciplining them or just trying to get the kid to talk or be. So finally I'll say, mom, wait, do they have a toy? Do they have a stuffed animal? Do they have something that they like? I have uh, very few toys over here, but here's a little rubber ducky. You know, if they want to hold their toy, they want to play with their toy, maybe they're just a fidget kid. I let the parent know it's okay. It's okay. And I'll tell you the biggest thing this is a side tip. I have finally found out a different mindset for our classes. Our classes are to tutor them, to teach them in a one-on-one -on -one setting, privately. This is not an official classroom. So I don't need them to have proper answers. I don't need them to have proper sentences, to have proper pronunciation. This is where they learn all that, practice all that, and do it with me, a native English speaker. With that being said, I will say that, mom, in our class, your student can make mistakes or your student will learn the pronunciation from me <laughs> and to be a great student when they go to school in their English class, they're going to be the best student in their English class at school. So this isn't a class where I'm grading them. I am doing, of course, the stars and the feedback, but this is not a situation where, you know, A plus or F or, you know, you don't pass or fail kind of thing. There is, of course, we want them to increase their levels, but I want them to know this is where they make the mistakes and it's okay. This is where they say, um, kind instead of kind. Kind, great, close. You almost have it. This is a long eye, kind. And then you have good old wind and wind. <laughs> and all those other words that tear and tear. Oh, I've had a couple of those lately. So I just want to encourage you when you deal with parents that you somehow maybe quickly have a script of your own to say that. Mom, so glad you're here. This is great. And then you kind of go. They're reading every slide, you know. Um, they're filling in the blanks. They're clicking and dragging. I actually go, mom, um, I'm glad you're here. You are a great support for your student, but, and I've one time, I've said it probably more than once. You're paying me to tutor your child. I will help your child with pronunciation. I will listen to your child. Um, you know, with their pronunciation or their sentence. And then actually what was really good in the last two or three days, I've had to say this, mom, hi, great. Oh, you're wonderful. We are going to wait five seconds for your student to respond. They don't have to respond fast right away. It's okay. VIP kid has trained us to wait 10 seconds. So we may wait five to 10 seconds. I did that actually this morning and the mom waited. It was awesome. Immediately, like I would say, um, what is this? And I would wait and she would go monkey. And the kid would go monkey. You know, but he's not listening. He's not looking. He's not looking at the letters. He has no idea that the letter M was there. So I told her they're going to wait five to 10 seconds. So the next one, what is this? And he looked 
And I typed it, letter, wrote a letter G, and he's like, gorilla. I'm like, yes. And then I'm thinking the mom finally was like, ah, I get it now. And I told her, this is where your student is going to learn, practice, so in school, they got it. Okay? <laughs> so hopefully that's a few tips, if not many, on how to deal with parents. And I have finally had to be bold about it. Yes, I'm risking a one Apple review. It's been worth it because I think when they see that you're serious about this and that you're the authority and that you not being rude, being very respectful, professional, and whatever my word was about this, I think that's what's been huge. Because actually one of them yesterday immediately gave me a five Apple review. After I did it, I was like, oh my gosh. Because when you saw parent feedback, I was like, oh, here comes my first less than five Apple. <laughs> but no, no. And I told her, I said, you know, we're going to wait five seconds and your student's going to, you know, mispronounce. But in here, we're going to learn and practice. And this is that one-on-one -on -one private tutoring that I get to do with your child. So in class, in school, in public, your student's going to be awesome. Okay. So there's all of that. So hopefully that gives you that. So if you're done with the parenting part, you can, you know, change the video. But this now is feedback. This is mind blowing. For those of us who are old school and who did feedback the old way, it's still great. It still works. It's still wonderful. But I cannot encourage you enough to not make it so crazy complicated. What am I going to get a drink? Excuse me. Okay, so here is this on feedback. Ed Nace, I may or may not be saying it right, he wrote a couple PDFs on um, uh, feedback, Chinese, uh, teaching English to Chinese students. Um, he knew the culture, he knew the parents, he really had all, everything nailed down to like the problem child, to the great child, to the what to say, what not to say, and how to say it. And he had templates, and again, totally worth the money. Um, I tried to find his link recently and he's kind of, um, I think kind of done with all of that. I said, I think you could still get, <laughs> sell some PDFs because your book is great and it's still relevant to this day. And he did an upgraded one too, like a version 2.0. He has a Facebook group called Say What? And um, it was always helpful, especially when um, students would write on the screen in Chinese. So fast forward, feedback currently, what should we do? One huge golden nugget that I got from all of his training and all of his, you know, he didn't train, but in his books was stop repeating what's already there to say, hello, you were in the gorilla um, class today and we learned all about gorillas and this was the vocabulary about gorillas and then we did past tense present tense and then we did this and this and johnny did great and johnny was wonderful and johnny you're repeating stuff they already know you're wasting your time and the parents time there's nothing wrong with saying what you did and what the vocabulary is but there's no reason to go into ever, basically rewrite or summarize the lesson in your feedback your feedback needs to be feedback. So since returning after the lockdown of year and four months for me, um, my feedback is this. Basically, oh, and I actually, this is the other thing too, is I typed my feedback in English, translated it in Chinese, copied translate back in English to see what it would say or how it would do. And you want to be professional, you want to be respectful, and you want to be generic really and that's going to be fine you don't have to have so many brackets and slashes to have all of that stuff okay so let me tell you real quick greetings it was great to see you so i don't have to say the student's name it is great to still say sarah sophia elsa you know spider-man batman <laughs> it's great to say those things but we don't have to so greetings great to see you your hard work today earned you five stars that's it. The next one is, it was, um, today we practiced these vocabulary words, quick vocabulary words, and delete the whole noun, verb, adjective, all that stuff. Just have the words. 
Then my third sentence is, um, it was great to hear you read. That's my generic one. It's good to hear you read about, and then the topic. The topic would be gorillas or snow or ice or um, sometimes it'll say stuff like, uh, well, simple ones like rocks, but it'll have something like uh, ordering off the menu. So I'll say, it'd be great to hear you read about ordering. I don't have to say everything. I don't have to repeat the title of this of the lesson. They already know the lesson their student was in. Does that make sense? <laughs> so greetings, you got five stars, you're awesome. These are the vocabulary words we reviewed today or learned today or practiced today. You were, it was great to hear you read these uh, about this topic. Now, if you need to customize it, you can change the read to talk about it if you have a more advanced student. But for most students, they're just reading about it because they're in the reading levels. <clears throat> Let's see what's next. And then the last one is at home practice. Back in the day, we used to say homework. We can't do homework. And then I remember saying practice or optional practice. So my next sentence is, please practice. And then I have a generic thing that says words. While I have class, man, I have this thing, excuse me, real quick. While I have class in the chat, I type all the words they mispronounce, the words that I have to help them with. I don't hit enter, sometimes I do. If it's an advanced student, we finish early, I'll hit enter and I'll say, okay, now read these words. And they will read them right or wrong. If they read them wrong, I'll say, just repeat after me. Satellite, satellite. Um, carbohydrates, carbohydrates. I, I've had some huge words lately for my students. Okay, so um, in the chat, you know, it'll be the words, whatever, you know, purpose, you know, whatever. I'll have the words, word, comma, word, space, word, comma, space. So at the end of the class, I hit enter and it goes into the chat. The student may or may not see it. And that's no big deal because even during class, I'll be here. I'll go, oh, I'm typing the word, you know, satellite. And, I'll, and they'll hear me and see me. And I want the parent to know I'm not on my phone typing. I'm on my computer typing the words. And I'll even hit enter. At that point, if they really, if I feel like they're like, I don't know what this teacher's doing. I'll hit enter. I'll go, look, there's the word, you know, carbohydrates. And um, what was the other word today? I don't know, digestion or something. Who knows? And I'll type them in the chat box. And then um, when I pop up the feedback, I copy and paste that into the teacher to teacher. And then I go over to my feedback template, copy and paste that. And my feedback template, again, I have the greetings. You were great and awesome and wonderful, fabulous, five stars. Second paragraph, um, we did these words. So the vocabulary words are already there. Da, 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 da. We read and talked about this topic that's already there. The third sentence says, please practice at home. And it says custom. So where it says custom, that's where I put in the words that were for fur. <laughs> That was for that student, that class that day. So that's all I'm doing, all I'm doing. So it's copy, paste, copy, paste, enter. Oh, the good news is this too. When you copy and paste from English to Chinese back to English, you'll learn something new. So check this out. My name is teacher Jackie. When I put it in Chinese and go back to English, it puts teacher Jackie Chan <laughs> or Chan, however you want to say it. So I'm like, I don't want that. So I just said, teacher, I've left it generic for me, for you, for whatever. I share all of my feedbacks and all of my classes that I do. So they're all in there. Thumbs up them and give me a like or whatever that is inside of the VIP kit portal. But yeah, it is that simple. We're saying too much. We're repeating you know, the lesson plan and the whole like expected and student outcomes and the objectives. And at this point, parents just want a custom feedback. Your student didn't pronounce these right. The other thing I do put in there is that we may have gone over the TH sound, sa, and we have the V sound, va. The, um, what else was there? The, it's more common. 
I don't remember. I'm blank. <laughs> but you get the idea. Oh, C. The letter C is a K and the letter C is a S. And I have a whole copy paste on how to teach that really quick in class. C A C O C U was K. C I C E C Y is S. Kind of a thing. All of that. And my advanced students, we take a break. I open up the pop up the white box on the screen and go over that. Maybe I'll do a side uh, video on that one. So that's it. We're done. How to deal with parents. Go ahead and be bold. Be honest. Be respectful. Be professional. Feedback. You can customize. It just takes a really long time. The only thing you should customize is the words they pronounced incorrectly. Some suggested things to learn or practice at home. And just be brief. I have still uh, gotten five apples since 2018. I'm almost to, I, I'm a part-time teacher, so I think I'm up to almost a thousand plus or so. I have now new regulars since the reboot, <laughs> if you will, of February 2023. And so again, just to kind of give you a, a heads up on me, like going, why should I listen to her? <laughs> I like to think that I'm doing well and teacher parents like me and so far VIP kid hasn't disciplined me for anything as well. So just do your best to represent the product, to do your best with your classroom, your culture, your students, your parents. And again, um, happy teaching as they say. Like, subscribe, share, let me know, comment below, give me questions. I'm here because I, if you know me, if you've looked at any of my videos, I am really big about community, about support and uh, doing life with people. It's just a lot more fun. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.